So before we get into today's balance discussion, I want to show you off a few things that I picked up. So, actually, we're going to save that mat for last. So this first mat, I actually got for my birthday. Oh, shit. Is this facing the right way? Yeah. This Super Saiyan mat I got for my birthday. My birthday was October 4th. Very nice mat. I really like it. And there was EXP Con in St. Augustine. And I picked up this lovely piece of artwork. This should be the thumbnail. <laughs> but yeah, I picked this up at EXP Con. Had a lot of fun there. And now, the piece de resistance, which will probably take my ads off this video, so you better be fucking thankful. Y'all that play Overwatch, eat your heart out. Waifu material to the max. That's all I have to say. Let's get into today's video. What's up you guys, Avery here, and oh my god, my blemish is really showing in this light. Because I'm actually recording a video in the middle of the day for once instead of being at night. <laughs> so, I wanted to go ahead and talk about uh, the ban list, because we're obviously going to be getting one in November. And I wanted to discuss some implications that could possibly happen on the ban list. That makes no fucking sense, I don't know what I'm saying. I wanted to talk about some things that might happen on the ban list. I wanted to talk about Trickstar spirals, all that good stuff. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. But before we do, as Robbie Cole likes to say, look at me. Look at me. Just look right here at my at my shitty blemish. You guys are the Avery Army. So what I want you to do is to dab smack that like button. Yes, that's right. I just dabbed on all y'all. I want you to take your hands. I want you to go like this. And I want you to dab on the like button. And I also want you to titty smack the favorite button. And I want you to share all this with your friends. Share it in Zodiac Duels because I feel like i got some good shit to say. And if you don't, I'm going to be a sad little panda bear. So help me make my day better by sharing this video and dab smacking the like button. Be part of the Avery Army if you aren't already. And be sure to subscribe. So, let's quit being a Robbie Cole impersonation. And <laughs> let's get into the video. So, we're obviously getting a ban list in November. We're... Not going to probably get that many changes. We could sit here and talk about should terraforming be hit or not? Should reincarnation be hit or not? I want to talk about the big boy things because we're a real boy now. <laughs> God, I sound like fucking Robbie Cole. Jesus. Anyway, um, let's talk about the elephant in the room, that being Spiral, right off the bat. I don't even want to waste any time. Spiral on this list is either not going to get hit at all or Konami's going to pull a Cosmo. And they're going to be like, well, we tried to hit it, guys. See, what they're going to do is that they're going to do exactly what they did with Cosmo when they didn't really want to hit it, but it was still a very good deck back when Emergency Teleport was at 3. They hit Emergency Teleport down to 2, and th I think... No, th this was before that they hit Dark Destroyer and all that. So they hit Emergency Teleport down to 2, and I think they did some other things to try and slow it down, and it didn't really do much. It was still a very good deck. But that was Konami's hand. That was Konami's way of wiping their hands of it and saying, "Well, we tried to hit emergency teleport, you guys." Um, I feel like that they're going to do the same thing with spirals. They're not going to do something as crazy as banning a card right off the bat. If they do, then they really just want the deck to be dead. I've heard people talk about banning Master Plan because it's a very good combo extender. At the same time, however, it is a combo extender that you very much need in the deck because it helps you to make those big boards. Um, I will admit, personally, I haven't played against Spiral. I haven't actually sat down and play tested the deck. This week has just been absolutely crazy. I haven't had any time. However, I do understand the combos to the deck. I understand the functionality of the deck. I understand what it does. Um, but in regards to the deck itself, I haven't actually sat down and like, played with it in my hands. That sounds really stupid, but you know what I mean. <laughs> We're making all the puns today. But I feel like Konami is going to do something similar like what they did to Cosmo. They're going to be like, well, we tried to hit Quick Fix, or hey, we put Machine Dupe down back to one so they can't go Machine Dupe into Quick Fix. Like, we tried, you guys. Like, I could very easily see them doing that. I could honestly very easily see them putting Machine Duplication down to two or one now that I think about it. And then that would be like the only way that they hit the deck, or do something stupid like put Drone at two and put Machine Dupe at two. 
and like put Car Trooper up to three or just some stupid shit and be like, we tried to hit Spirals, you guys, and then they're still the best deck and they're still making money off their product. Because you got to look at it from a product perspective. And Robbie Cole, eat your heart out. We upgraded from water to tea up in this bitch. As my phone goes off. But Konami wants to make their money off their future sets. They're coming out with that 100 card late monster set. They want to make money off of that. They still want to make money off of Circuit Break. They want to make money off of whatever next set is going to come out after Circuit Break. So they're not going to hit Spiral very hard, if even at all, on this November ban list. Because they're way too new. The set just came out in October. So why the hell would people be bitching and going crazy saying, oh, they need to hit Double Helix, they need to hit Quick Fix, they need to hit Master Plan. Yes, these things need to be hit. I agree with you 100%. But the fact is, is that they're just not going to do that. I'm promising you, almost, in fact, I can almost damn near guarantee you, they are going to pull a Cosmo and do something stupid where they just lightly hit the deck, they give it a little smack on the ass and be like, alright, don't be so bad now, and they'll do something like put Machine Dupe down to two or some stupid shit. And then the deck will still go off to be absolutely amazing. Um, I still think Rat Pierre should come back to two, just because of the fact that I feel bad for Zodiac players. <laughs> like, as, as weird as that sounds coming from a former Zodiac player, like, th the fact that Rat's at one, it's just like, you might as well make it a vanilla monster. Like, I hate when Konami does that. They hit a card down to one, and then that just makes it completely useless. Like, that's like hitting Reborn Tengu down to one. Like, what is the point? You might as well make it a vanilla monster at that point, because it has no effect. So, I think Rat Pierre needs to come back up to two. I think that was just sort of like, uh... What do you call it? Uh, Jesus, I can't even think of the name. That was, uh, like, because Zodiacs were doing well. I can't think of the word uh, off the top of my head right now. But um, it was it was because Zodiac was doing well that Rat Pier got hit and all that stuff. So, uh, not damage control, but it was uh, it was caught in the crossfire, whatever you call it. So, I feel like Rat Pier needs to come back to two. Um, again, I feel like Spirals are going to lightly get hit. Uh, I feel like if Konami does anything to Trick Stars, I feel like the deck is just fucked. Like, someone had commented on my Trick Star deck profile, the one that I did for uh, this month, October, and they said, what do you think is going to happen on the balance in regards to Trick Star? And I had talked about how, you know, if they hit Candina, the deck will still be kind of okay, but if you hit Reincarnation, you're really screwed. And, it, and I basically just said it depends on how hard that they'll hit the deck in general. So he's like, so basically any hit to the deck means that it's not good. And I didn't get a chance to respond to the comment, but sir, if you're watching this, here's your answer. <laughs> um, no. It, again, it all comes down to how hard they hit the deck. Like, if they want to hit Lily Bell down to one, like, okay, that doesn't do anything to the deck. But if you hit Reincarnation down to two or even one, I have the sun in the background. <laughs> if you hit Reincarnation down to two or even one, the deck becomes absolute trash because that's what makes the deck good. That's what separates it from other decks in the meta is that you're able to draw and lock the opponent's entire hand and they literally can't play Yu-Gi-Oh! and you win the game because of it. Is it shitty and cheesy? Yes, it is. But it's still something that Trick Stars are able to do. At the same time, however, I don't know why people are bitching about it because it hardly ever comes up. It'd be like when I taught my regional at the beginning of this uh, season, like... I only pulled it off like twice, and it wasn't even to win the match. The first time I pulled it off, I beat the guy a couple turns later. He tried to make a play, just couldn't do anything. Next time it happened, it happened like game one against a Draco player, and he just scooped and we went to game two. We ended up going to three games, and I won. But, again, that just proves that you I didn't win the match because of it. We still went to three games. I had to try my ass off, believe it or not, and make sure I played perfectly to win those two game, or two matches, but still it's something that you're able to do and I feel like if you take that away Trickstar just becomes a slow stall burn deck like you have to play it like Brian Teos did in top 16 of YCS Dallas you have to play it like a slow stall deck that can do some light burn damage and just hand trap the shit out of your opponent like let's say we'll, we'll go off the deep end here we'll say that uh, reincarnation gets banned we're gonna go off the deep end here reincarnation gets banned you could keep the Drolls in the main deck. You might cut it down to two. You better still be playing three Honest, because I'm sorry, but you've got to play three fucking Honest. I, I love Brian for topping YCS Dallas with only two Honest, but you got to play three, dude. For the love of God, you play three in your damn Trick Stars. <laughs> so you cut Reincarnation out of the equation, and you essentially have a slow burn deck that has 
an 1800 beat stick and a 1600 beat stick and a pretty decent field spell. Now, if terraforming also gets hit, that hurts the deck even more because now you have to resort to playing set rotation and you pretty much have to make your deck more bricky. And I think that's what Trickstar is going to come down to if Reincarnation gets hit or if Candina gets hit since Candina is the Stratos of the deck. Or if you even hit the field spell. If you hit any of the key cards such as, we'll say all of these following cards are the key cards. Candina, Light Stage, Terraforming, Reincarnation, that's four cards right there. If you hit any of those in any capacity, it's just going to make the deck more bricky because you're going to have to compensate for things. Either playing more traps if Reincarnation gets hit, playing more hand traps if monsters get hit, and it just doesn't make your deck into something that it is. Now, we are getting more support uh, in regards to monsters and stuff like that. Um, there, I think there was like one or two monsters that got revealed. Yeah, two monsters that got revealed. One of them was a Link monster. The other one was the uh, effect monster trick star that does damage when the opponent activates a monster effect, which isn't even all that good. Then you have to play those monsters. But the fact that you would at that point be forced to play those monsters, it just makes the deck just kind of bad at that point. Like, you might as well just play Spiral, because Spiral is not going to get hit nowhere near as hard. Like, if I had to take a bet between Trickstar and Spiral, which one was going to get hit more on this November ban list, I would say Trickstar would get hit more. Um, whether that's them hitting Reincarnation or just something else completely. Or, like, hitting something indirectly to hurt all decks, like Terraforming. I could very easily see Terraforming getting hit on this list, because that hurts all decks that use field spells across the board. Um, in regards to other decks in the meta, Performer Pal Magicians, um, I know I haven't really talked about that in, in this video yet, but I feel like Magicians are just kind of fine the way they are. The deck isn't what it used to be, you know, Plush Fire is still banned, they're not playing uh, Luster Pendulum, you know, they're not playing the things that made Pepe Tier 0. You know, if this was Pepe Tier 0, the deck, then I would say, yeah, hit some shit, but I mean, the deck kind of does what it needs to do and Spirals have just kind of taken over. Now, if Spirals get completely demolished, yeah, it'll be the next best deck. Um, but at least we'll be in a format at that point, like we saw a few weeks ago, where other decks could compete with uh, Performer Pal Magician. Who the hell is texting me? Anyway. Um, <laughs> so, I think that that's something that you need to consider going into this ban list. This is why I haven't invested in anything. That, and I already have my invites, so I don't give a shit. <laughs> but... Just be very careful investing in things, especially since we're getting close to November. Um, because I think that if you want to invest in Spiral, I say mostly do it through trades so that you're technically not losing money. Because if you buy the whole deck and then, you know, let's say Quick Fix gets hit to two or Machine Dupe gets hit to two or something, you're going to lose a little bit of money. You won't lose a lot, depending on like what rarities you buy and stuff, but you will lose a little bit of money. So I say just kind of stick with whatever deck you're playing with and then. You know, if you got to invest in something for regional, then, you know, do what you got to do. But I say just play your dollar bills very close to your chest. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I would love to see what you guys want to say. I know I haven't uploaded in a few days. I really appreciate you guys being patient. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye.